Okay, hopefully this will be the exciting conclusion. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything. I, of course, in the, last, in the final part of the last part, I made a trade for State Avenue. So I have to save up $2,000. $16. Thank you, Arthur. And because of that trade, I have reduced... He can trade for three things now. No, oh, don't go to jail. I don't have the, I don't have a per, I don't have the purple one yet. Pay hospital. All right, so I guess I'll go and uh, give Arthur twenty-two dollars, which of course he gets out free. This is ridiculous. Fourteen dollars. Good. I'll take it. Good. Good. Excellent. All right, nine. I also don't get money if I land on it. There we go. Take your eye on the reading. Two. Oh, that's a two hundred dollar card now. No matter what, because you have, there's no chance card that makes you avoid. You have to. You have to go all the way around the board every time. So reading railroad. See, he would like Illinois Avenue. No deal, of course. And a ten. Good. I'll I'll take two hundred dollars. Nine. That's fine. Twelve. All oh, right. I haven't gotten it yet. I still need. I still need Arthur to give me some money. Which means he has to land on my properties. One thousand forty-three. Make that twelve hundred forty-three. Nothing wrong with two hundred dollars. Good. All right. Oh come on. One. You to land on at least once. Go back three spaces. Come on. Landing on zero times is... How is that going to help me speed this process up? See, look at that. Seven, ten, only ten dollars. That's not helpful. I could easily... Yeah, I could have lost thirty-five or seventy-five. Fourth, I mean, I still could get two hundred dollars from the railroad. That is helpful. And I get... 200 for pass and go. None. Okay, $22. Green and white. I mean, we can get those orange and beige bills. 500 and 100. So, you know, getting a green, yes, I understand. Bit of a letdown. Alright, let's get the three. And land on electric company. Come on, does Arthur really need a hundred dollars? He has six thousand. He has over six thousand dollars. There we go. Two hundred fifty dollars. That is helpful. So we're up and pay each player fifty. Hey, good. Two hundred dollars again. Got two fifty. Got two hundred. See, that was a nut, and it can even be better, but of course, hey, hey you got T. Glenn on Railroad and Mediterranean Avenue. Four fifty, can't, and look at that, another two hundred dollars. Can't complain about getting that kind of money. So how about, ooh, how about the advance to go? Arthur probably does not like that getting that card anymore. Oh, well, I, I made it. So, Virginia Avenue, you will soon be mine, because I will trade unless the game freezes. Which, in that case, then you wouldn't see this video. So, we're up to 900. So, only 2,000 is necessary. Now, we are getting into, you know, 
It only costs, but now it costs like 1200 Hey, there we go. 550 There we go. So let's use that to buy some houses on the purple. It won't be a lot of money that we're getting, but you know what? You want me to keep getting, you know, 20 and 24? That not going to bankrupt him. Getting 50 and 60 won't either, but hey, it's helpful to me. Five, there we go. $50. State with one house gets me the same amount of money as Boardwalk. How is that fair? I mean, Mediterranean with two houses. There we go. Move to St. Charles Place. Then we put six houses there. I was want to buy houses. So I am down to nine. Ooh, there we go. Twenty dollars. That will help me get across the board. Six. That's right. If you get to two and a two, he owes me some money. Even a one and a one. One and a one would be twenty dollars. So a two and a two would be, you know, preferred. Darthur's turn, he gets an eleven. Look at that, I get out free. So he have nine hoes there, we still need 600 more. Now how about, a, how about, you know, a one and a two, or a three and a one? You know, or a two and a two, but... Kentucky Avenue? Oh, Arthur, he would like to trade. So he would like... Boardwalk. Not surprised he wants Boardwalk. Because, like, he wants to win. He wants a chance to win. Because he... Because, I don't know, like, Peter's money's like, wow, I have so much money. That, like, wow. It's like... But eventually, you know, he will... He'll, you know, want to attempt to, you know, land on my property, then get rid of that money. There, he has entered the danger zone. And... Phew. That's almost as good. Pay hey, poor tax of 15. That whole danger zone, all I got was $200. I'll take it. There we go. Just lost the go money. I think it's $150. Not surprising. Just visiting. $28. That is helpful. Nine. There we go. $450. So let's put more houses there so I can get more profit. Oh, I'll put hotels there because I can afford hotels now. The animals want to buy hotels. So I got 450, had to spend 600. Nine, all right, nine. So we've gotten fourth over to $540. If you get to two. Alright, the next one we're gonna be trading for is the orange. And that co that cost twenty-five hundred dollars. That is the most expensive one. A finished. Good, I'll take a 12. How about, uh, ooh, a 9. So, but luckily I have three Monopolies helping instead of one or two. And, of course, the railroads. There we go. He gets $200. But now he has entered the danger zone. Let's see, he gets take a walk in the boardwalk. I'll take your $50. Good. All right. Let's see. Seven. All right. He's entered the danger zone. He... There we go. $600. That is helpful. So he lands on one. It gave me $600. Good. Let's see. Life insurance matures. Another 100 
All right, he has exited the danger zone. He can now, he's now going to pay me the most is 200. Even though we do consider the railroad part of the danger zone. So I, I gave him 26. He gave it to me right back. So, of course, including the two parts, this is definitely going to go over an hour. Twelve. Luxury tech. Well, he did lose his gold money, but I got nothing. Let's see. He got to twelve, and he paid me nothing that time. All right. Arthur is, he is gaining money, but, and also losing assets. Is good. It's okay if he gets money, because then eventually he will have to pay me, you no, know, lots of money. Seth, land. Uh, keep landing on yours unless it's the big ones. Eleven, twenty-eight dollars. So basically, only on the left side of the board. Oh, let's. See. I guess. Well, I guess if you're counting. You know, the left side is anything left of the real. Alright, here we go. Enter the danger zone. Two hundred dollars. Alright, he missed. Alright, he is in good line for the big ones. If he gets nine hundred. That's the Illinois have. Unbelievable rolled in jail. Eight. Seven hundred fifty dollars. Wow, he almost. But he gave me 750. Now, if he gets lives in a railroad, I can trade and get the orange from him. $24. Wow, bro, is that fair? It's fine. And still in jail. Big Arthur has entered the danger zone again. Got to, and he wants to make a trade. What a surprise! He's made a he's made a lot in these this this game, but I will be decreasing his after I get the orange. There we go, three. So it's Arthur's turn in the danger zone. Let's see, he gets a seven. All right, two hundred dollars. It's good. So that means I have enough. Not Kentucky. St. James Place. Which the one that apparently Arthur... I guess they all treasure it so much, but Arthur really treasures that one. All right. Any second now. It's just holding a button. Okay, we're up to a thousand. Oh, geez. there we go. Oh, why did I stop? I stopped too soon. What the hell? Twenty-five eighteen's fine. So there we go. Nearest route wanted Arthur getting that card. There we go. Six hundred dollars. That is helpful. So we're going to use that $600 to increase the danger zone to the oranges. Good. Two Marvin Gardens. All right. Good. I own that. Eleven. Wow. Well, you got to... You do have to expect... Oh! Come on. Walk. Twenty-two dollars. Could have used that earlier. Two eighteen. Still, what a surprise! That I means I still can't unmortgage boardwalk. Now I can. Twenty-six dollars. So let's get that unmortgaged. There we go. Back in the pot. There, see, good thing I had mortgage at fifty dollars. He landed on it. Otherwise, it would have been nothing. So Arthur, he would like to trade. What does he want? He would like a boardwalk. 
<laughs> well, he is not getting boardwalk, unfortunately. Five. All right, good. He has entered the danger zone. Five fifty. That is helpful. So we're gonna put more houses there to increase the danger zone. More houses. So we still need three hundred to get hotels. Seven. There we go. Seven hundred fifty. There we go. That is helpful. Well, uh, so let's put the hotels there. So we landed on two hotels so far. In fact, let's do the trade. Let's try to get the red. So of course these are very expensive to trade for. Actually, the orange, yeah, the orange, orange, quite as much as Boardwalk. Good, good. So let's. Good pay, nothing. $950. So now Arthur's only one thing Arthur could trade for. And I mean, I may just do it. Especially if he gets, you know, oh, I wanted to go back three spaces card. You tell me, hey, six. I'll take $60. Oh, this has been a really long. Actually, this personal video hasn't been real long, but of course, you know. So let's get a nine. Park Place, he owns it. There we go, back in the danger zone. There we go, 250. That is helpful. So Arthur lost $50. Okay, I get his go money. 50 more dollars. Eight. There we go, six hundred dollars. Give me eight hundred fifty dollars. And there we go, one thousand dollars. Good. Arthur gave Arthur. He gave me so much money. Let's just trade for Park Place anyway. Even though, even if you know that you want. If you have all of them, if you do the little, if you do, you obviously, I obviously could put houses and hotels on. Actually, I couldn't, you know, there's only one left. So, I will trade for it, and then I will trade for the red. And then, I guess the yellow and green. So, then I will own every property, unless it's that running low on time. There we go, 2024. So there we go. Arthur now has nothing to trade for. So the only trades will be will be will be made by me. Because I've traded everything. So Arthur has entered the danger because we are gonna include even though it's only $70. You know it does make sense to include it. Hey, $450. Well, you just lost Kentucky. Good. This will be helpful. Actually, not Kentucky. Indiana. So let's immediately go. Let's hurry up. Put houses and hotels there. There we go. Two thousand dollars. Oh, go to jail! Come on. How is that fair? 550 dollars. So I only have two more trades to make with Arthur. So he gave me 550, another 200, so that's 750. Of course, you don't want to, I mean, I could build, but you know, in jail, so. Nine. There we go. It's up, not 20. I get a second 20, I get a second green bill. There we go, so let's increase that danger zone. Let's put three houses costing us $450. So we're down to $350, but I do put houses there. $26. That is helpful. It definitely is. Oh, hopefully, no, I do not get assessed because that would be horrible. 
Ooh, I'm sorry, Arthur. You traded to me and took my money. So, $70 you owe me. Hey, there we go. $200. Let's, let's start building up these houses. There we go. We're going to put three more at the cost of $450. I always wanted to buy houses. Good. So, oh, take a ride in the reading. There we go. $200. So, I guess... He escapes that. We're going to start a new round, so he gives me 200. 6, 7, 50. See, it's much easier to get the money that you need if you have, if you own a bunch of properties and hotels. So let's put six houses next and then only in the final hotel. You only put one, so unfortunately, hey, it doesn't cost us as much. We saved $300. So now let's get up to 200, I mean 2,000. See, look at that, 950. That is very helpful, Arthur. Up to six. All right, hopefully he will land on another one. He did not. Atlantic Avenue, he owns that property. You. Now it's like the chance card in the community chest here, and because there's a chance you might get assessed and lose so much of your money. Because I own all of the hotels. So, there we go. $250. Soon I will own every property. Phew, good. That was a seven. We we definitely want, if anyone gets assessed, we want it to be Arthur. Because, of course, that makes perfect sense. I got a seven again. All right, take 200 more. It keeps landing on these railroads, so. Phew, an eight. That's good. I missed it by one. Chance cur. There we go, 950. I believe that costs this will cost I do I have enough? Yes, I do have enough. Atlantic Avenue two thousand dollars. Right to Arthur. Now let's start building the twelve necessary houses. I'll put five. So it's been seven fifty. Oh, now we definitely do not want to get assessed. Nine, one. Oh, come on! The one that only had one. Hey, still one hundred and ten dollars. Help me if I get assessed. Arthur is so he is. He skipped one part of the danger zone, but he has entered, you know, the bigger part of it. Se oh, God, phew, that was lucky. On Arthur, assessed. That would be huge if he gets assessed. He pays me $50, so the base of the money he would have paid to get out of jail free, he gives to me. All right, Arthur, he gets a seven. Three hundred sixty dollars. That is helpful. So up to six thirty-nine. Ooh, that was lucky. So let's put the four houses, put four houses there. And we we'll want to buy houses. Down to forty-nine dollars. Advance to go. Four, that's okay. Seven. Advanced St. Charles is $750. Good, good. So, all right. So, we're going to put houses there, and that is it. You can't, there's no more hotels. So, so we're going to save up 2,000. Few. That was lucky. 
even I, I'd want that card rather than get assessed. There we go, Arthur. One thousand fifty dollars. That is helpful. Seven. Seven. Now Waterworks is part of the Danger Zone. So what? Seventeen. I mean, I could afford it, but actually, not community. Chief. Thank you, Arthur. He got assessed. Chance is now okay to land on. Because I don't think this game will last much longer. Luxury sex. Seventy-five dollars. Let's see. Eleven. Six hundred dollars. So there we go. This, because now after this trade, there will be nothing left to trade with Arthur. Because I will have this will this is the final property. So we're gonna build up, spend twenty four hundred on houses. Hopefully, I don't land a community chest and get assessed. Why not just take twenty one eighty nine? Pay poor tax of 15. See, I get 30 of it back. So, there we go. Every price. So, the minimum Arthur can give me is 20. Oh, come on. How is that helpful? There we go. Get a 9. $1,050. That is helpful. So, there's nothing left to trade. So we're going to put six houses there. I don't just want to buy houses to press B now. Well, no one wants to buy houses. Not yet, at least. $70. Good. I'll take it. All right, so let's roll in. He is basically, basically well, he's now exited the high part. He's in, now he's in the low part of the danger zone because I own every property. There we go, 550. That's good. 810. Good. 7. 200 more. Nothing wrong with that. 1,000. Let's just wait till. There we go, $1,000. That will, now I can afford. Oh, come on, I was gonna put houses there. Oh, like 390. I forgot, that's still decent, $390. That's helpful. And an 11. Thank you, Arthur. Arthur just got assessed, thank you very much. So we're going to put the last six houses there. No one else can buy houses. There we go. Now we just have to wait until and hopefully the game will not freeze. He gets $150. That's ridiculous. Eight. Take a walk on the boardwalk. All right, 200 is good. Arthur's like, wait a minute, what's going on? I, I could lose. He's like, yes, you kept trading. And giving away your properties for money. Seven. This Illinois Avenue. I'll take it. So now I have more money than Arthur. Four hundred. I'll take it. So I believe. I'm not a hundred percent sure if only Pennsylvania Avenue eliminates him, but I guess we'll find out. No. Now there we go. Eleven hundred. He will be eliminated if he lands on Park Place, because he has nothing. So, four. The railroad eliminated him. You go 200. Arthur is bankrupt. So that is the end of the game. I think this is my longest game that I've played, if you combine the two videos. All right, I will see you in the next video.